presentation, baby. You know. Go fast, when you get it. Go fast. Yo, what's up? This your girl Shayna, honey. I'm girl with I'm here with your boy Gorilla Black. What it is, baby? Man, just chilling out. Just chilling out right now, y'all. I just want to just chill. Making a lot of different things happen. Alright, yeah. where you been? Where you been at? You been at? You know what? You know, I, I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, you know I, I'm a homebody type person, you know what I mean? And, you know, I focus my energies on, you know, uh, building, you know, my businesses and building the brand around me, building, you know, my label and, you know, you know, a lot of different artists within my camp and so forth. So that's what I've been doing and then, you know, just recently I just came back with the Okay, so, I was gonna say, I know you yeah, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 I'm always, I'm always, I'm always doing music, man, that's just the difference, man, a lot of artists, you know, there's a lot of gifted people out there, you know, talented people, but you know, it's a lot of for me, you know, for me, you know, I don't need to style with the paper and two gloves and the Hennessy, everything, so if I walk in the studio, I, uh, I do it off my own. I have to run on a piece of paper. Shit, it's for as long as I can do So, you know, I don't think a lot of people know that about me. Off the top of the head, you're a true spitter. You know, true spitter, nigga. True spitter, nigga. Well, you know I gotta get right up in you. You know, because the black from the West Coast, like Shayna from the West Coast, we know we're not black. How did we get beyond this whole thing? I know everybody asks you, how we get beyond that, you know what, I think that, you know, a lot of it was really focused at the time, whenever I put out my first CD, it, it, a lot of it was really focused on what the label was pushing forward, and being at a label, what a lot of cats don't really understand is, when you at a label, you don't have a lot of control over a lot of the processes that's going on with your project, you have a lot of different people that has been put in place, you know, overall and all, to get the numbers to come back. You know, record companies are interested in one thing, and that is numbers. And I think that they felt that they had found something to glitch upon, and they wanted me to pretty much go into that, you know, that characterization of something that I'm not. Did that hurt you at all as an artist? As an artist, yes, it definitely hurt me as an artist. And it really didn't allow me to have the creativity of functioning flows that, that, I, that, I really, that I'm capable of doing. And, you know, at the end of the day, though, I take it and I look at it and, you know, I had to take it with a grain of salt and I had to re, you know, structure my shit and re-energize and revigorate, you know, I, you know, with all of the different, you know, hate that was coming about and uh, a lot of different people, you know, uh, who were like this, who were like that, you know, at the end of the day, I'm looking like, I'm like, okay, but, you know, I look at a lot of motherfuckers and a lot of motherfuckers can say what it is and what it can't do. But you know, I, I give a true challenge to any motherfucking MC out here on the West. You know, just jump on a record with me and you know, I give you the first verse or you give me the last verse and we'll we can pretty much dispute that pretty much there where it stays. Uh, or cop that mixtape. Oh yeah. <laughs> or cop that mixtape that's about to hit these motherfuckers oh, yeah, straight. I said. And then you can yeah. blog, yeah. you can do whatever yeah. the fuck you want to do at yeah. that. <laughs> but, you know, most niggas that's around, they, they've been around me for a long time. And a lot of motherfuckers is here on the West, they know what I'm capable of doing. And, you know, it was just, you know, dealing with a label and dealing with their, you know, trickery and dealing with a lot of this, you know, a lot of different situations. And in, in, in that note, because you could have used it to your benefit, but I, I wanted to say that movie was coming out. I was like, I know they're going to do it. Yeah, you know what, but it was just, you know, it was a very beautiful thing, man. I mean, at the end of the day, I, I, I really been wanting to distance myself away from that whole situation for so, so, so Because see, now it's taking him. Now it's taking Greg. Yeah, yeah. Greg act like me. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, I, I really wanted to kind of distance myself away from that. You know what I mean? To let, you know, let them deal with that. Let Miss Wallace, let, you know, Wayne Bro, let Mark Pitts and them deal with that. You know, that, he was their family. And let them deal with that. They, you know, he was from Brooklyn. So I, I think that they, they, they found gravy someone from there that pretty much could portray that and be that, you know, which is what they were looking for. And, you know, I wish them the best and all success. Um, but, you know, it, it just wasn't me. It just ain't me. I'm, I'm, I'm none other than G-U-E-R-I-L-A. Okay. And going back to Gorilla Black, because that's what I'm asking, I wasn't listening to that. Mm -hmm. What's the name of this mixtape? When is it hitting straight? And how many more are we going to get before we get to the next Gorilla Black? You know what, right now, man, I, I've been just focusing on, you know, I hope a lot of artists out here who listen and listen to me. Uh, when I say this, you know, right now, man, us being on the West Coast, man, our backs are literally and completely against the wall. Whatever
when I first came with my first album, that other, only other person that was there that was really getting a push, like I was getting a push from the major distributors and conglomerates, was what the game. And since that time, now West Coast, I want you to understand something. That at that time, the South had been in the picture. Uh, you know, that was around the time, you know, we had uh, shit. Uh, 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 50's first album, a lot of cats. So it was, a, it was a broader aspect open. When those cats got in the game, and they know who I'm talking about, they bought their way into the game. They were already prepared. They had, they had, their, album, they had their albums done. They already had record spinning. They already had their region. They already had their foundation built. What I'm telling all of the West Coast rappers right now, artists, we have to rebuild our foundation. And a lot of people might be upset about this coming here, but Pac left us the blueprint and Shug left us the blueprint. Motherfuckers might say Shug this, Shug that, and whoop you went, but I'm going to say this one thing. Shug was the first entrepreneur from the street. Before the pubs, before the babies, before, you know, the uh, the Dame and Jays that came from the street, a power room to bring diamonds and crips in Los Angeles together and move with a company called Death Row that, you know, is in the history book. No matter how you want to shake it, bake it, fry it, frip it, see it, the nigga came from the streets with the ground. Came from the streets with the trap, the trap money, yeah. turn the trap money into rap money. And That's what it is. Motherfuckers, they not going to give us these opportunities. I say this to all my, you know, comrades, all my allies that's out there that's looking at this right now. Y'all know who we is. Y'all know what it is. Homie, they not going to give us the chance. So what do we have to do? We got to go get our bread, homie. And when we get our bread up, then we can go back and boss up our situation. I'm going to lay, I'm gonna lay a line on y'all. Those that know how will always have a job, and those that know why will always be their motherfucking bosses. And believe that shit. For real, so. Now, now, now Gorilla Black, you know, is the truth. And then all my ladies out there, you know, trying to ground girls at hiphop.com. What do you feel, feet? Where do you feel us females fit in all of this? Do you feel we you know what? what you you know what? Female, what I, you know, females been a part of hip hop in West Coast hip hop. And however, hip hop, y'all been a pioneer of this shit. Y'all a part of this as much as y'all push to the left. <laughs> you know, y'all get pushed to the left, but, you know, me and we go back and we remember the yo yo's and, you know, the Lady of Rages and, you know what I'm saying? Today, what's lacking in a female artist up today? You know, you know they, what? They your interest, you, know? you know what? It's it just, you know, it's a lot of hot female artists out here on the West. I just think that understanding the business, the business is a motherfucker. It is a motherfucking beast. And I just think that it takes a real firm, strong minded individual woman to understand what does she need to get out of this game and what does she need to do to get that up out of it and go where she needs to go and transcend. And that's not being upon your backs, lady. But I want you to understand a lot of that ain't going to be on your backs. That ain't gonna be laid up on your backs or you know, warming up some 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 you know in your mouth. So keep that out of the picture. You need out of your mouth. Keep it out of your mouth. Get, get, get that up out your mouth. Grip the mic. Yes, get the mic, get the, the spit skills together. And that being that to being able to position yourself in the dealing with all of the different people and connecting yourself with all of these different people and building your foundation. Your foundation. This is what the West Coast lacks most in all. Because we Hollywood. So we come from the home of superstars and movie stars, TV stars. So what we have to build, ladies, we have to build a foundation, whether that be our, our fan base on the internet, whether that be the fan base, you know, with our regular little clubs, you know, going to the gay girl clubs, <laughs> however you gotta, you gotta do it, do it but you, you need to start building your fan base up and getting those people, your true followers to believe in it. And you know, I, I believe that anywhere the mind is with, you could actually go, anywhere the mind is at, you can hold it in the hand. Anywhere there's no universe without thought. You have to, everything is the same. So if you continue to focus and focus and believe and believe and hold them thoughts of being who you want to be in your mind, you will actually walk those doors. Do you hear that? And that is, that, that's real shit. Really Wherever you've been in the mind, you can be in the physical. And this is a true actual fact. It's called a 
you know the law of attraction. It's a universal law, period. Yeah. Um, and if you continue to hold that and continue to stay with positive energy about what it is that you're doing and keep seeing the positive outcome and results, you're only going to attract those things in your life. And that is what it is. Period. Point blank. People be like, yo, Gorilla ain't had an album out, man. I wonder what's going on. Gorilla is happy as he was when he put out an album. You did? I got three or four stores. I got a few wives. I got whips. I got eyes. That, at the end of the day, my life is about me being happy. Shoot me up. I get a whole bunch of groupie love from the same chicks that I use them up.